Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. Today I have swatches for you from the Shimmer and Shine collection from the brand Colors de Carol. These are releasing on March 24th, so in the description box I will link the Colors de Carol site, I will link their Instagram page, and then I will link my Instagram page where you can see more swatches of everything from today's video. I do also have a discount code with Colors de Carol for 10% off. It's not an affiliate code, it's just there as a thank you for ordering from her site and watching my video. It's on the screen as well as in the description box. So we do have six polishes in this collection and let's go ahead and get started. So first we have Diamond Dreams and this is described as a green to olive to blue to yellow multichrome with purple to pink to yellow shimmer, holographic flakes, and iridescent chameleon flakes. This does start out a bit sheer. That does go for kind of all of them across the board. They are sheer. I was happy at two coats, but I could definitely see needing three with all of the polishes in this collection. You could also layer them over a black or a deeper coordinating color, and that'll also help the shift stand out a little bit and the flakes stand out a lot. But I do like them built up on their own. The formula was excellent to work with, not too thick or too thin. I had no running, pulling, or staining with anything in this collection. So like I said, I was happy here in two coats. It's one of those things that I don't think anybody would notice. A tiny bit of visible nail line if you wore two, but if you're super picky, you might want to go in for three. This is also going to dry dull, so you will want some top coat to finish this off and add some shine back to it, and removal will be easy. So there are two coats of Diamond Dreams. So up next we have Garnet Glamour and this is described as a bright pink to purple to copper to olive to yellowish green multichrome with green to yellow to purple shimmer, holographic flakes, and iridescent chameleon flakes. I am really glad she provided color descriptions for these polishes because there is no chance in heck that I would have gotten all those colors out of these. But you do see them, but describing multichromes is really difficult for me. This is probably my top pick of the collection. It is very shifty and I love a shifty on shifty element and the holographic paired with the iridescence is absolutely beautiful. Again, I was happy here in two coats, but again, I could see it needing three if you're super duper picky. You'll also want that top coat here. It is gonna add some plumpness to this polish. It does dry on the dull side, but nothing dries textured and removal is easy. So there are two coats of Garnet Glamour. Up next we have Gemstone Glimmer and this is described as a purple to blue to bright green multichrome with a pink to purple shimmer, holographic flakes, and iridescent chameleon flakes. Just like everything else in this collection, this does start out pretty sheer. I primarily got this like blue turquoise color under my studio lights and I loved it. And then you get the darker blues and then the purples at extreme angles and I thought it was gorgeous paired with the iridescent flake color. The um, pinky purple really shines off the bluey purple beautifully. Again, I was happy in two coats, but again, you might opt to go in for three or use this as a topper if you don't love doing three coats on your nails. It can get a little bit thick after three coats, but I do think it would be absolutely stunning built up in three. Again, you will want that top coat to add some shine and plumpness to your finished manicure, but nothing dries textured and removal is easy, so there are two coats of Gemstone Glamour. So up next we have Moonstone Magic and this is described as an orange to copper to yellow multichrome with a pink to purple to yellow shimmer, holographic flakes, and iridescent chameleon flakes. This is another one that I think everything just works together beautifully. I think um, the base color contrasts nicely with the shimmer, contrasts nicely with the iridescent flake color choices, and of course the holographic stands out really well. This is the other top pick in the collection for me. Very flattering, and I think it's a gorgeous color for the summer. The holographic element that's in here, I also feel, is the strongest of the collection. I'm sure there's the same amount in all the polishes, but it was most apparent in this color to me against the base color. Again, I was happy in two coats here. Everything's nice and easy to manipulate. You don't get a cluster of flakes or too much of one thing in one spot, so it is very beginner-friendly. So there are two coats of Moonstone Magic. Up next we have Opaline Opulence, which is 
nearly impossible for me to say, but this is described as a bright purple to orange to yellow to green multi-chrome with a purple to pink to orange shifty shimmer, holographic flakes, and iridescent chameleon flakes. This has the same level of opacity as everything else in this collection does. A little bit sheer here on this first coat, but very buildable. I was also very happy at two coats with this one, but again, you might want three or layer it over a coordinating base color, but it would also look really nice over a black. Formula is excellent. Everything does stand out on its own. The shimmer is nice and bright. The flakes stand out nicely against this base color as well. They don't get lost. So I do appreciate that. This is gonna dry dull, so you'll want some top coat to finish this off, but nothing will dry textured and removal will be easy. So there are two coats of Opaline Opulence. And lastly for today, we have Peridot Princess, and this is described as a blue to purple to red to copper multi-chrome with a yellow to green shimmer, holographic flakes, and iridescent chameleon flakes. Again, we are starting off a little bit sheer here on this first coat. It is going to build up just like everything else, two to three coats for full coverage, depending on your preferences and your application. And you can also use this one as a topper over a darker color or coordinating base color. Formula is the same, very smooth, very easy to work with. All of these are nice and what I would consider beginner friendly. You don't really have to think about manipulating them. They apply nice and evenly. They spread out easily across the nail. They do dry all on the dull side, but a top coat does help that. And there are two coats of Peridot Princess. And here's a look at the collection as a whole. All of these had a beautiful same kind of formula across the board. It's more just a preference of color. And obviously I wasn't able to capture the shiftiness of a multi-chrome under my studio lights. So I do apologize for that, but they are very shifty in person. And each one of these stands out beautifully. All of them do have a holographic element, but other than that, the shimmer colors, the base colors, and the iridescent flake colors are different, and I love it. And guys, that is it. Let me know in the comments below what you thought of these polishes. Let me know if you plan on picking any of them up, and let me know what your favorite was. Give this video a thumbs up if you liked it. Subscribe if you'd like to see more from me, and I will talk to you again next time.